think drawing is hard? Our new compilation of drawing and handmade life hacks will show you differently. Everyone can find something useful in here. Let's begin our journey with this hypnotic op art technique. Have you heard of it? It's the art of optical illusion. Today, we'll reveal the secret behind one such technique. Draw a wavy line in the middle of a sheet of paper. Mark some equally spaced dots on the line. Connect the dots with arcs. Keep drawing arcs, filling in the blank spaces. Let's add some color. Fill in the pipes with a pencil leaving the middle brighter to give the picture some more volume. Turn on your imagination and play with the shapes and colors. You can use this optical illusion as a cover for your notebook or to decorate the wall. If you like to impress your friends, we'll show you another fun illusion. Fold the sheet of paper in half. Unfold it. We are going to need two markers, one gray and one black. With the gray marker, draw the shadow of a ladder. Switch markers and draw the ladder itself with a bend in the middle. Connect the end points of the ladder to the end of the shadow. Draw the steps. They should match the shadow. Fold the paper, rotate it a bit, and the ladder seems to jump up off the sheet of paper. Did you enjoy this 3D effect? Roy of York gave battle in vain. Let's paint that boring, dark notebook cover with all the colors of the rainbow. We'll need a sponge and some acrylic paint. Start from the corners and draw some colorful arcs. With slight and brief movements of the sponge, add some texture to the surface. This notebook will lighten even the darkest mood. Amethyst, Malachite, Agate, Jasper. Each stone is a true wonder. Let's make a drawing with a texture that looks like the cross section of a mineral. We'll need some ordinary table salt for this technique. Draw some odd ovals with watercolor. Make a dark outline and a bright center. Sprinkle the wet drawing with salt. The salt absorbs some of the paint and gives a nice texture to our drawing. Don't throw out that Coca-Cola bottle. We can make a calligraphy quill out of it. Cut out a rectangle with a sharp knife. Fold it in half. Shape it into a quill, cutting off the excess. Secure the quill on a pencil with decorative tape. Done! Dip it into some ink or mascara and test it out on a piece of paper. It writes perfectly! All we need is to find some blotting paper and avoid those nasty blots. Now you can decorate your notebook with some pretty hieroglyphs or some gothic fonts. We can create a cool open work pattern with the help of a piece of lace. Press the lace against a sheet of paper. Spray some paint over it. You could use this lace aerography to make some greeting cards or pieces of decor. It looks exquisite! We can make a colorful landscape with the help of some painting tape and a bit of talent. Stick some strips of painting tape of varying size onto a sheet of paper. Paint a yellow circle sun, add a blue background, and some light specks. Let the paint dry and carefully peel off the tape. Draw out the branches and the creeks on the birch trees with the black paint. Done! We have ourselves a beautiful birch forest. What's that? You can only use paint to paint? Well, watch this! Today, we'll show you some very interesting methods of creating paintings. One of these methods involves painting with red wine. Yes, we are not going to drink the wine, we are going to paint with wine. A brush soaked in wine leaves an intense burgundy trace. A bit of imagination, and we get an amazing Marcel painting. We don't start out our day with a cup of coffee, but with a coffee painting. Mix a small bag of instant coffee with a bit of water. Dip the brush in our improvised paint and start creating. We decided to paint a slice of chocolate cake, just perfect for breakfast, even though it's not very healthy. Coffee leaves some very interesting stains, the glaze looks pretty real, and the aroma from the paintings will remind you of those tasty desserts from that coffee shop across the street. Let's keep on cleaning out the fridge. This time, we're going to need some milk. Choose a random picture and put it on a blank sheet of paper. Dip the brush in milk and repeat the contours of the image. You can't see anything. Let's add some heat. Iron out the painting. 
and the cute unicorn reveals itself. The protein albumin contained in milk decomposes when exposed to heat. You draw and experiment. It's well known that some painters use charcoal as a painting material, but could we use a tablet of activated charcoal? Turns out, we can! Activated charcoal is very visible on white paper, and the tablet is easy to hold. Our black chamomile is ready! It turned out very beautiful! A pill for your ills! Painters know that an art eraser is an indispensable tool when drawing with pencils. But what can you do if the drawing is almost done and you don't have the right tool? We'll just use some bread instead. Get the crumb and squeeze it in your hand. The bread will lighten up the drawing and add some specks. That magic eraser isn't so indispensable after all. If you need to quickly make a bright background, use a simple shopping bag. Crumple up the bag and dip it in paint. Apply the paint onto the paper with fast movements. If you choose the right colors, you'll end up with a very bright and unique background. Let the paint dry and then add some text. You can proudly hang this picture on your wall and it's pretty easy and quick to do with your own hands. For this next life hack, we'll need some magnesium sulfate powder that you can find in a pharmacy. Mix the powder with water in a one-to-one -one proportion. Heat up and stir until all the crystals are dissolved. Apply the mixture to a fresh watercolor painting. Wait a few minutes and watch how the watercolor gains texture. It's like the painting is covered in frost. Amazing! Drawing out each leaf is time-consuming and boring. In this video, a black tree trunk will grow a gorgeous purple bush in a matter of minutes. We're going to apply the paint with a clothespin and a sponge instead of a brush. Add some white and orange. Very simple, yet beautiful. We'll paint this watercolor tree with an ordinary stationary file. Apply a few different shades of watercolor to the film. Transfer the paint onto a piece of paper, smoothing out the file with your hands. Add a trunk and some branches with black. The fairy tree is ready! You should definitely consider using plant leaves and branches in your art process. By turning these gifts of nature into stamps, we'll be able to make some amazing art on paper and fabric. Business as usual, apply the paint and make an imprint. Ivy leaves make some good star-shaped marks. Also, the Thuja and Cypress tree branches imprints look spectacular on a dark background. And this pine beauty merits its own frame. You can make some cool stamps even out of potatoes. Get an average sized potato and cut it in half. With a sharp knife, make perpendicular cuts and peel off the excess. Apply the paint and make some imprints. We get these nice sunny pineapples. You can make any fruit you like. But if you're too lazy to cut out all those complicated stamp shapes, just use our next life hack. You can use any fruit as a stamping tool. We chose an orange, a lemon, an apple, and a pomegranate. All we need to do is just cut the fruits in half. Next, apply the paint to the cross section and leave a unique mark on anything nearby. A balloon is a brush? Why not? Fill a bowl with some yellow paint and add a few drops of contrasting colors. Join the drops together with a wooden stick and we get a colorful open work pattern. Dip the balloon in the bowl. You can use this technique to create fragments of your masterpiece or even whole backgrounds. Leave a comment if you enjoyed our painting life hacks. Which one did you like the most? The 3D ladder, the colorful stamps, or painting with food? Subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and press on the bell icon to be the first to watch our next video.